everyone welcome back just real quick I wanted to go over some of the items I use to do the drywall finish so there's two main kinds of tape that you would use you got screen tape and you've got paper tape get you a six inch mud knife a 10 inch mud knife sanding sponge and stainless steel pan so those are the main tools that I use you can probably get a three inch knife if you wanted to So here's an example over here where you would use screen tape where you have two factory edges. That's the only place in my opinion that you use screen tape. Now anywhere else, like here is a cut edge up against the factory edge. I would use paper tape only and this is just a regular butt joint, two cut edges. So just real quick wanted to go over that and show you how I go about finishing a butt joint. So where you have both factory edges touching each other, it's pretty straightforward. You, I use a 10 inch knife just so you can span across and you can see where the crimps are from the, the factory edge. So like I said, pretty straightforward. You just basically let your, your knife ride on each side of that factory edge. This typically takes three coats. So when you're doing an edge that's a non-factory edge, a cut edge to a factory edge, you, you, do, you do the same way with, with a regular butt joint. But you want to fill this in, you want to fill that up to about an eighth of an inch thick. So it needs to have some thickness there because it has to be completely completely wet. If you don't, it'll have bubbles behind your tape and you don't want that. So you want to start out, center it up on your joint. If you can't see your joint, you can use your knife, find the center, come back about 16 inches, pull that off. Use pretty heavy pressure there. Come back here, find the center, hold it in the center. Once again, pretty heavy pressure. You take it clear out to the end. You should be centered at this point. Cut your tape. Make sure it's in place. Pull the mud off. When you get close to the corner, you can start pushing it. Get pushed out. You clean off your excess. This is where I go back to my 10 inch. And I'm going to skim coat this whole thing one time. Uh, you want to keep this keep this tight and you you kind of twist your trowel when you're doing the top edge to against you twist it this way on the top and you twist it this way on the bottom so about medium heavy pressure Once you get it all covered, you start lightening up on the pressure. You just keep twisting your trowel where, where it feathers in against this. Don't, need, don't leave no edge there. Just make it feather in. And then do the same thing across the top. And you're 
you're going to want to leave it just like that until it dries. And then we'll come back and skim it again.